Hey everybody, it's Connie Knox here with another Tiny Tip Tuesday from Genealogy TV. I am here to help you go further, faster, but factually with your family research. Today we're talking about genealogy societies or genealogical societies, also historical societies, kind of sometimes they go hand in hand. So the tip for today is to join a historical society or a genealogical society in the area in which you're researching. I love going to my local genealogical society and the meetings and, and collaborating with my friends and, and fellow genealogists here in the town in which I live, but it is wise to join a genealogical society in the area in which you're researching, uh, specifically the county in which you're researching. But a couple tips. Uh, let's jump right in. There are a number of ways you can find genealogical societies. Genealogy Bank has a good list. Two tips here. Um, you want to join not only the state society in which you're, you're researching, but you also want to join the county societies in which you're researching because it's those folks at the county level that are deeply rooted in the area and they understand what the resources are available in your area. So Genealogy Bank has a list here. You can see several from, and they're listed by state pretty much. Cindy's List is another great way to find um, genealogical societies. If you're not familiar with Cindy's List, you probably should be. Uh, Cindy's List uh, is basically a, a list of lists. It is the probably largest grouping of lists <laughs> for genealogists and uh, genealogical societies, national societies, a variety of, of groups, lineage societies are all uh, listed here as well. Um, I also recommend you go to the Federation of Genealogical Societies. You can find a society. Uh, you can actually join them if you're a member of a society. And they have a lot of really good information. Um, to find a society, you can put in the name of uh, the city or the state and do some searching around there, or you can just browse their list. But that may take you some time because there's a lot of genealogical societies uh, listed there. Also make sure you join the state society in which you're in. Um, you can find some of those also on the Family Search Wiki. If you're not familiar with the Family Search Wiki, there's another tip for you. North Carolina Genealogical Society I am a member of because uh, if you don't know by now, I'm in North Carolina. But um, one of the things I love about the state genealogical societies is they throw usually an annual meeting and uh, conference. And so there's some really great events that you can um, go and see some wonderful speakers. Also keep in mind that to look on Facebook, you can find genealogical societies on Facebook. Make sure you join the conversations there and, and sign in. Um, and they have lots of sharing of information and what's available uh, at that local level. A lot of the societies these days are on um, Facebook and you can then keep in touch with what's going on in the areas in which you are researching. So that is your tip for this Tuesday. Hope you enjoyed it. Hey, I hope you enjoyed watching that episode on Genealogy TV. If you'd like to help support Genealogy TV for as little as a dollar a month, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash Genealogy TV. Also, you should know in the show notes, there are links. Occasionally, those are affiliate marketing links uh, to products that pay me a small commission. That also helps support the station, but doesn't cost you a dime extra. So you should know that up front so that you know that using those links helps support the channel. So if you find something in there that is useful, um, please use the links. It really does help me out a lot. I appreciate it so much. Thanks for watching Genealogy TV and thanks for your support.